Hello friends. I've got my fan going. It's, it looks like this. It's a USB fan. It has a, um, oh, you know, <laughs> that's the first I've noticed. Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> I forgot about this. But it has a lithium battery in here. It runs for a while, but it's rechargeable. Now, it does work also if it's plugged in. It'll run plugged in. But I wanted to show you that I had this going. It's afternoon. It's a little chilly outside, but when I'm in here and all the windows are closed, it can get really stuffy in here. So here's a clue for all of you who are thinking about starting the nomad life. Well, you might be thinking about starting it, you may be forced into it. So I always keep saying, and I say it again, get yourself, I would say two, if you can afford it, just go ahead and get two. You have one in reserve, because if one goes down and it's summertime, what, you gotta sit in a, in a hot van and wait for it to come through um, Amazon? Because the better ones are on Amazon, ordering them, or from ordering them from anywhere. Do not go to Walmart and buy one of those gray ones that take um, D batteries. And, and, and it barely runs. It, it doesn't have a good um, flow. So, I've talked about these. I've got this going. You can hear it. Let me put it on. I'll put it on low. Yeah. It, it keeps the air flowing so it doesn't get stuffy. Previously, I don't know, a couple hours ago, I had long sleeves on, but it does warm up in Arizona, even in Flagstaff right now, it warms up during the day. Okay, I got a really good question. Okay, and I wanna address this. I'm thinking this might be a subject I really haven't tapped on too much. And <laughs> those are hard to come by because after three and a half years and almost 700 videos, <laughs> I think I've touched on most things. You know, yesterday in the video, I said I was going to make some hot tea. Well, this isn't too hot anymore, but it's been sitting here for a while. I made it earlier. I, this is one way that I can get my liquids. I don't always like to drink water, but when I make tea, I make it herbal tea. I make it um, a point to go ahead and um, get my liquids. So in the morning, what I do is I drink this, almost this entire thing. And this is, I believe, maybe 28 ounces, I think. This is probably 28 ounces, maybe 16 ounces. And then if I drink another one, I've been making chamomile tea at night. And then I've been drinking that. Liquids are so important. You know, your kidneys, you've got to keep your kidneys moving. And I'll get, I'll start talking about what I was going to talk about. But the, I saw a video today. Your kidneys are so important. What they do is they clean out purify your blood okay they don't just they they create urine but they're doing it they're cleaning out your blood from toxins and, and poisons they clean out your kidneys 50 gallons of blood a day and <laughs> now you don't have 50 gallons of blood inside of your body so they just keep recycling it and recycling it if you're not getting pop, proper liquids that's when your urine, it comes out really orange, dark yellow. Your your urine should always be a very light, faint, pale yellow, very pale, and should be a little bit clear, which is what mine are doing now because of this. So cheers, let's drink. This is a good way for me to get my liquids. Now they say, oh my gosh, coffee, it, it um, it's a diuretic, you know, <laughs> they're kind of um, questioning that. So I don't know, okay. Okay, let's get to the question. Drink your tea and we'll get to that question that I haven't hit on. 
you at, you're from New Zealand and you said, what can I do about my wet clothes? I'm living in my van. I'm in my van. What am I supposed to do when my clothes are wet? Because it's raining a lot. And I thought, wow. Um, cause if it's winter time, oh my gosh, there's going <laughs> to, it's going to create so much condensation in the summer. It'll dry out pretty good. I mean, unless you're back east and it's very humid. I'm not sure the climate in New Zealand, but let's talk about this. And if you have any suggestions for her, leave it in the comments. I'm just going to hit on what I thought about. Now, I'm going to show you two things coming up. I went to my storage. I had to go to my storage. So I'm going to show you my storage and I'm going to show you my back area. If you had a storage close by, if you were in a city or kind of close to that, you could take your wet clothes and leave them in storage until, and maybe lay them out on some bins until you can get to a dryer. Because you mentioned in New Zealand, you mentioned that you're not really close to a dryer. You might be out boondocking. I'm at my storage unit. I was there this morning. I just wanted to show you this. It has a magnet on it and it carries my keys and some lip gloss and any other little thing. That way I don't forget my keys. And I wanted to show you this vest. I showed this to you yesterday or I think the day before, whichever, but it's pretty cool and it's keeping me really warm. It's got nice pockets and it's keeping my chest and all my organs warm and it fits really well. Now this is my storage unit and I wanted to show you the bins that are in there that you, if you had a lot of wet clothes and you were close to your storage unit, you could put them in there to dry. This is one thing that had to dry and what happened was a little bit of rain got in my garage area and I'll tell you why in a minute. It's my heated jacket. It got a little damp. And so I was kind of worried. Oh my gosh. So I put it in the storage unit and I let it dry in there. Because I know that water isn't going to get in there. So now I just want to put it away properly and zip it up. So you know me, I'm very organized and I want to put things away properly. But I wanted to make sure that it was completely dry. And it was. But you could lay your wet clothes on bins if you have bins in there or something. You could even put like a rack in there that you could hang clothes. You know, that might not be a bad idea if you have clothes that you want to be hung up and you're close to your storage unit. Right now, what I am doing is organizing things. I want to put another bin in my van. I want three of the small bins. I want them all the same size. I don't want the great big ones. I just want the more smaller ones. So I'm kind of shifting. I'm always shifting around. Oh my gosh. Um, you know, I want to be organized. It just sometimes feel like, feels like I'm just not organized because this is here and that's there. And <laughs> I mean, I can go to my uh, storage unit as often as I want to, but who wants to keep driving there? So I'll get it right at some point. Maybe it'll have to be when I start going south and get another storage unit that I will feel like I can spread out a little bit more. I'm not sure. So I'm trying to move things around, get things out of this bin, put it in the bigger bin so I have just a little bit more room. What I found is I bought some of some books. I bought about three Bibles and Two of them I'm going to keep. One is for Paul when he gets back. And I want to, um, I don't want things, I don't like things just laying around. So here's where I'm going to add one more bin to the side of my minivan. The sliding door. There we go. Okay. And I think it's going to be very helpful in when I bring down my curtain and yeah. I'll just have a little bit more space to put things in so they're not laying around. My goal is to have room. And if it just keeps raining, 
wow, I do not know the answer to that. If it rains and rains and rains and rains, I mean, you're going to have to get to a dryer, to a laundromat. Now, I also thought of, let's say, you don't want them too long in here. They might start molding. I keep these great big baggies. I have baggies. And you could put the bag, you could put your clothes in the baggies and seal them till you can get somewhere to dry these off. Or wait for a couple of days for the rain to stop. And then if you're out boondocking, put up a clothesline and hang them out. If you're in the city, get to a dryer. Okay. Now I carry different sizes. These are the big ones. These are, um, they're called hefty jumbo. And then I've got these. These are, I think they're, I think this is a quart size. Yeah. The quart size. I was going to get a gallon size, but I just got a quart. Okay. So you could put your things in there. Now, what are you going to do if like you have a raincoat and an umbrella? Those can kind of dry out. What I would do if I was in that situation, I have been before, is I kind of like come in, I hang my, my umbrella out and I go like this to get all the water out as best I can and put it in the, my front seat. I call that my atrium. <laughs> I always take my shoes off on the floor. I never bring my shoes back here. Never. <laughs> if I have socks on, I just, I always, my shoes are always down there by the pedals but you could park if i had an umbrella i would just kind of set that and lean it against the seat here and let it dry out also if you have a raincoat unless it's if it's just pouring down cats and dogs don't do it but i would come in if it wasn't i'd come in to I'd take it off and then after i sat down in my seat i would just kind of lean out and go like this to get it the excess water off the droplets and then I would maybe lay it right here. You could also put something like a tarp over your seat and lay your um, your raincoat on that. So that was a really good question. Now what I have found is when I put it in the garage area, I would just kind of hang it over. I've got, you'll see what's going on back there and I would hang it over I've got that one um, ladder and I would hang it over the ladder. Just looking around for safety. I'm back here all by myself. It's a long, long driveway and there's nobody else but me. I hope, <laughs> I hope. So yeah, this is my back area. I call this as my garage and I'm just kind of not really sure how I'm going to organize things. I'm just looking around at this point. And I'll make just a little bit more explanations in just a minute. But you see that ladder right there. I want to show you what I did with my back. Now here, let me move this way. So you can see. Okay, this is my back area. I call this my garage and so I can put things back here that I might need when I'm outside that I can access. I don't have to keep going inside my van and it keeps, you know, like it looking over junky crowded inside my living area. So I've got bags here because I've got a lot of clothes. Um, I've got a lot of winter clothes. And right now I'm at the point where I might need summer and I might need winter. So not everything is gonna fit inside my the three drawers. It's just three drawers. It's only about this wide and three little drawers. So I've got some bags in here. This here is my shower bag. So I can just grab it and go in the shower or go in a hotel room. I got my dirty clothes here. I got my window coverings for at night on my little step stool when I want to go ahead and wash my windows. Let me see if I can sit here. Now I got this um, ladder. It's only a three, three step ladder, but I can sort of, not perfectly, 
but get up and check my solar on my room, okay? But it makes a nice barrier right here. And I've got other miscellaneous, but I wanna show you the barrier that I put up. This is a cloth. It's really pretty, isn't it? I've used it to cover things on the inside of my living area. So what I did was I thought, oh yeah. What happened was, I'll tell you the story. What happened was I was driving in Flagstaff and this gal in front of me, she turned, she went to the turn lane, you know, that middle lane, she went to the turn lane. She changed her mind and she literally, literally just went in front of me and went back in the lane. Well, to my right on the bike path was a, was a bicycle, a guy on a bicycle. I couldn't get over, I had to, I mean, or it would have been a major accident, which could have changed my entire life, right? Because even your car going into the shop, <laughs> it could be there for days and days, right? Well, what happened was everything, and I never had that happen before. Everything, even back here, went flying, okay? So let me show you. I don't want to tear this apart but maybe you can see here. Here is my bedding, and down here are my three bins, those three narrow bins that I have in the back that keep food in and dishes, things like that. You've seen me. If you've been with me a while, you know what I'm talking about. So they separate this area from that area. Well, I had another thing on here I was so upset. Oh my God. I had this one thing up here and I just ripped it off. I was, it took me a couple hours to, I had to redo my whole van. I parked at um, Cracker Barrel and I just started taking things out. And I was like this because it caused a lot of adrenaline. I mean, that was scary. And, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm still thinking about it. I'm looking around because I see that there's some of these areas here. Um, there's one over there where um, the uh, door is lifted up a little bit and there's no lock on it, which tells me there's probably somebody sleeping in there. Okay, so what I did was I that, that got ruined. I thought, well, what am I going to use now? So I put a, a towel on here, if this makes sense. I put a towel on here, but it hang, hung over. And when I, the, the next time it rained, water got in there and it got things wet. That's one of the reasons that um, I had to dry out my um, heated jacket. It got wet, you know? Okay, so it's all dry and I got to put it back. But isn't that pretty? Ooh. <laughs> so what I thought was, duh. I can't have anything go on the outside with tape or anything because then water can come in. But because my last video I showed yesterday that I took down all of my um, fairy lights and I had, whenever I hear a thing going up, I look. <laughs> um, so what happened was I took all my fairy lights off because they weren't working. One was barely working and one wasn't working at all. I had two sets of fairy lights. So I took them all down, I threw them away. Well, guess what? It opened up a bunch of these clips. So if you didn't see it, go look at the other uh, video from yesterday. And I thought, oh my gosh, I've got a lot of these and this is a nice big one, that this way I can separate. I know it's not much of a barrier, but it's nice to separate them so that it protects, I mean, my bedding's under here. You know, that's my bedding. And I don't want that getting into stuff that's in my uh, garage. It just, my bedding shouldn't be next to my garage area, <laughs> even though it isn't like a real garage. I just take this and I tuck it in.
there. So now it looks nice. And it's it, it it's a, it's a nice barrier. So I like it and it looks pretty. That way when I'm in my living area and I look back and I can still see like the top of this because my bedding's here, it's closed off. It looks nice. Yeah. So I wanted to show that to you. It's nice being in a minivan because these clips really come in handy because like an Econoline van or some of the metal, they're all metal. I mean, they don't have material in there, but a van, a minivan does. So that makes it nice. So what I did with this is I wanted one more. I had this one in here, but I kind of, if you saw me, I shifted things around a little bit. I really want to have three bins up because it makes it easier for me at night when I bring my curtain down, it kind of like holds it in place. I went to Walmart to see if I could get some new bins. Oh my gosh, they've got all different sizes. They don't fit these sizes. When I go to ha when I go to get some more bins, I'm gonna have to, to have a matching. I'm gonna have to buy the whole set. I'm gonna, yeah, Walmart did not have much at all. So I don't know what I'm gonna do when it comes to bins. Cause I really want another one of this size. And when I get to my next location and I get a storage, I'm thinking of getting some more bins anyways, or maybe some of the drawers and put a couple drawers in here. I could stack a couple drawers up so I can get things. And then when I move to a new location from my storage and I decided, okay, it's a new season, I'm gonna go ahead and move to a new location for the summer. All I have to do is put that stuff in the back and take it with me. And then when I get there, get another storage and take it out, which is what I'm gonna do when I get um, to my next location. I'm gonna be putting all this, I'm gonna be taking all this stuff. It's not a lot. Those are kind of boxes up here. <laughs> I gotta get rid of those, but um, yeah, take all of this and just put it in the back and drive and then go right to a storage. I'll have to call and say, okay, what do you got? And then get to another storage and put them in there so I can live in my van again. But I like this system because I'll tell you, it makes it so much more pleasant. I mean, living in my van's cool anyways, but I was so crowded in there. I had no idea how crowded I was. It's getting a little warmer. I think I'll take this off. And then at least I can show you and model the cuddle duds, this is the cuddle duds that I showed you two days ago. This is the shirt. Oh no, this isn't a shirt, sorry. But these are the pants. Yeah, these are the pants. So warm, oh my goodness, so warm. I looked in my other bin to see if there's some more stuff in there that I could put in here, but I, I kind of want to carry all that stuff with me just in case. Those are kind of important. I keep hearing these drawers go up. I'm kind of looking around. <laughs> I'm back here all by myself. There's not a soul other soul back here. So I'm being very guarded. I think I think I've got everything. Okay, let's carry on, okay? If it's cold out or it's chilly at all, if they're back there because this is still a one contained area if they're back there and I open and I'm sleeping all night, all that moisture is gonna be in here. When that happens, I have so much condensation on my windows. It's a tough thing to handle living in, in van life when you have wetness, a lot of wetness. Now in the winter, I have a lot of condensation on my window. What do I do? What I do is I keep a towel. It's just a hand towel. When I take those off, I have those on because I'm, I'm parked for the night. When I take those off, there's condensation. I put on my defroster, when I turn on my car, I put on my defroster, put it on heat, blow it, and I take it and I wipe it down. I wipe down the two windows here. 
mostly my condensation is on the windshield. And then I just park this back here and it dries during the day. Okay, so I hope that answered your question. If you have any other suggestions, please leave it in comments. So, hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And I've got the book, How to Live in a Minivan, The Minivan Leeway. And it's on Amazon. And I've also got neck gaiters. I love them. And I've also got jewelry. I've got exercise videos. Go to minivanlee.com and see what I have. It's been revamped. I've got a lot of things on there. I just love you guys and I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you subscribing and I appreciate you that it's so many, I'm getting so many orders that for the neck gaiters, that if you want neck gaiters, I would go there because they're going really fast. My supply is getting smaller and smaller because you, a lot of you know and you realize that winter's coming and you want to look nice. If you have a shirt that goes to here, when you wear a neck gaiter, you make it a turtleneck. It is warm in the winter and in the summer, wear it and spray it down. It's a neck gaiter. That's what they're for. And it keeps you cool. Actually, this feels good. Even though it's a little chilly out, not bad, but it's a little chilly out. It's stuffy in here because I have all my windows closed. I just wanted to keep my windows closed. So, okay, everybody, till tomorrow, new subject, new um, items to show you and new things to talk about. New liquids to drink together, hot liquids or cool liquids. Hmm. Hey, you guys, drink your water. Drink your water. You need it. You need to be um, recycling your blood, purifying it, and you need your kidneys. You need your kidneys to be very healthy. Drink your water. Till tomorrow, everybody. Bye.